Hi, I'm Chill and I'm from Ninth Burst and Cups. Today I'm going to show you how to make salt dough. First of all, you'll need 250 grams of table salt, then 250 grams of plain flour and 125 millilitres of warm water. You will also need a wooden spoon, a sieve, a rolling pin, extra flour for rolling the dough out and you also need a mixing bowl. Your first job is to sift the flour into the bowl and then add the salt. Once you've done that, mix them together and start adding in the warm water. So add this a little bit at a time until it's all gone. Once you've done that, if the mixture is too sticky, add some more flour. But if it's too dry, add some more warm water. Once that is done, it should look a bit like then Play-Doh. Once all the water's gone and you've mixed it thoroughly, put some flour onto the surface you are working on. Then add the dough that you've made onto the surface and knead for about five to 10 minutes. Once that is done and it's elasticated, then you can start rolling it out into whatever you would like. Now, I use cutters and make ornaments out of dough, but you could make anything you wanted now you could i've made a worm you can use a fork to prod the eyes into it or you can make decorations so i've used a star and then put a hole in the top so you could put some ribbon so that you could make a tree decoration but it's up to you now once you've done that scoop on your rolling pin with flour and the surface again and start to roll out don't make them too thick probably be about a centimeter would be enough then using either your cutters or whatever equipment you want you can then make your shape once that's done put them onto the baking parchment now this type of dough will either dry in the air or you can put it in the oven for 100 uh, 150 celsius and it will and bake it for an hour and it will make the dough go hard now you can't eat this because it's got salt in this one but they do make pretty decorations or you can make roll it out and make a different ornament it's up to you so I'm going to make a cat for mine I can use a fork to put on the whiskers now once this is dried you can paint it or you can add something else to it glue bits onto it and have it as a little diamante object it's up to you the other thing is if you've got any dough left if you pop it into a food bag and zip it up it will be airtight for over a week or two so that is how you make salt dough